All right, right quick, I want to talk to you about Unprecedented, the new Donald Trump documentary it got released just ahead of uh, further January 6th uh, hearings, you know, the for TV ratings, but th this is on Discovery Plus. First off, I will give shout out here to Discovery Plus for allowing me to screen capture off their app. I think that this should be required in a content creator bill of rights that should I be a congressman senator would definitely push. And you know, you may watch the first half of this thinking, hey, well, it seems pretty fair. And that's kind of the game they're playing with you here. You have this story told to you in three parts. And I'm not saying that there's three episodes. I'm saying there's really three phases here. There's following the campaign, sitting down and talking with the Trumps, and then your experts you brought in well after the fact to refute everything the Trumps said. So while you're watching this, you're not really aware that, oh, well, hey, we have Ivanka, Eric, Donald Jr. talking up their dad, you know, seemingly having a good time touring America. They don't have some weird hot mic moment, but you have these experts, Washington Post, or, you know, all these Trump critics then come in, you know, playing the role of active fact checker, saying things such as the kids are brainwashed into wanting their dad's approval, and that's why they are well behaved. When you watch Trump's oldest children on cable news, you get the feeling that they're still auditioning for their father's approval. Carrying that torch for the media, saying that reporters did did a great job investigating Hunter Biden's laptop. Hey guys, like, I'm calling bullshit. Donald Trump Jr. doesn't know what he's talking about. If he's trying to be a media critic, uh, you know, journalists investigated the Biden family pretty thoroughly and reported what was true. Sure they did. Is it really that honest to have one side represented in the moment and then you have another side weighing in months later after the dust settled? It seems even when a documentary wants to sell itself as nonpartisan, there are ways to spin the narrative. And I just felt that I needed to share with you some of the tools for these deceptive practices. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the eight minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.